Buffy Van Helsing, and this is my very first video. I tell you though, it is not very easy to start a YouTube channel without the right tools or even a clear-cut idea of what you're going to do. There was a lot of frustration with the cameras, battery life, and video editing. Because of the novelty of this whole idea of recording myself making art, I believe my drawing here suffered. It wasn't planned much at all, but it was the first drawing in this book, so I tried to make it work. If you noticed, I didn't start on the first page of the book. The first page always makes me nervous. I always want to make the first page of any art book to be close to perfect. I was thinking that after finishing a bit more of the book, I would be inspired to draw something on the first page, something that maybe ties the central theme of the book. I don't have a plan on what to fill these pages with yet, but it will not stop me from drawing in it. For this drawing, I decided I wanted to draw something underwater and calm to show my appreciation of the sea and all of its little critters. I have always had a fondness for aquatic scenes, and I credit my family for that, for having taken me to the aquarium. Even going to the pet stores excited me because of the fish. Well, and the bunnies, and the turtles, and the lizards, and the snakes, and the ferrets, and the birds, and even the beady-eyed rats. One day, my father surprised us with a fish tank. Fresh water, because it's easier and cheaper to maintain than salt water. Our starter fish were platys. They're good starter fish because they're hardy. But what I found to be most cool about these fish was that they are live bears, meaning that the females squish out live swimming fish rather than eggs. It was hard for me to breed them, though, because they require special care and could not really outswim their adult tank mates. Platys do not take care of their young. In fact, they would make a meal out of their own children. Anyway, back to the drawing, something calm and appreciative of the little critters. I have never filled a sketchbook before, and I hope that you stay to enjoy my journey as I fill all of these pages. I have also never used these micron pens. They came highly recommended, and I wanted to test them out. This drawing helped me do that. It added to the frustration for a bit, but at least I can now say that I have posted my first video. I quite like these pens. They could be used to make extremely fine lines to bold ones with one stroke. These pens claim to be bleed and smudge proof. So far so good. I should have tried the pens before making marks in this book though. The way the brush pen worked was a bit of a surprise to me. The tip was not stiff as I expected it to be, rather it worked as advertised as a brush. With the brush, it is possible to change the thickness of a single line in one stroke. Once I become more used to it, I, I can see it becoming one of my more frequently used pens from this set. As an artist, I don't think that I have developed a particular style yet, but this to me is more of a doodle than a finished drawing. There was no real pattern to the scribbles within the seaweed, and there is no real pattern that I've detected anyway in all of my art, but I could be wrong. You should subscribe to my channel and form your own opinion. This drawing, as simple as I think it is, took me several days to complete. I wanted to record every line I drew, but I hadn't found the right camera for it. I took long breaks because I was annoyed at camera setup, at the drawing in general, and I've also never liked the idea of showing people of my unfinished art. It made me feel embarrassed and vulnerable. I've never been really a social butterfly. I've been socially awkward and quiet for most of my life, and I have been trying to change that. You can't always get what you want, but it's even harder if you can't speak up for yourself. Maybe making videos for you to see will help 
and encourage me to be a stronger and more confident woman. Nonetheless, I've been told that I have a great voice and that I am down to earth. Also, maybe more important to you, a good artist. I enjoy trying new mediums. Experimentation and play is what I love about creating art. I will be making videos of myself dabbling in a lot of different forms of art. Drawing, painting, and maybe even sculpting. I'm also hoping to maybe make a few musical videos, so stay tuned. I hope you enjoyed watching me draw this and switch between three different cameras. It was quite an adventure, but as I continue making videos, I'm sure it will get easier for me to share with you my passion of art. Because this is my first video, I would greatly appreciate every one of your comments. Leave your thoughts down below. All of your suggestions will be read and considered. I want you to enjoy this channel as much as I enjoy making art. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be inspired and get creative. Please subscribe if you enjoyed the video and want to see more like it. Until then.